Okay, well, we're standing here right next to the Saudi Embassy at 2045 uh, Sartel Street, and uh, they just bullied us into moving from the front of it. So we're standing at the side of it. We're not disturbing the peace. We're asking for the freedom of somebody who was shot and uh, arrested uh, for speaking. Now, whatever he said, I can understand that Saudis won't like, but this is a frail old man, and uh, he is a religious leader for uh, the Shia in uh, Saudi Arabia and also the rest of the world, so we feel his pain. I mean, this is an old man that's a religious leader that was shot and arrested for simply speaking his mind, nothing else, for simply speaking his mind. That's what he's been charged with, is speaking his mind. So uh, we, we have a petition which uh, the Saudis are unwilling to accept, uh, which humbly asks for his immediate release. We're not saying anything bad about them. We're not uh, calling names, pelting stones or anything. We're simply saying that to uphold the universal value of freedom of speech and to show common courtesy to a frail old man that uh, has all he's done is spoken and you may not like what he said but you have to have the integrity and you have to have the patience to hear it and not shoot him and arrest him uh, furthermore we demand that that he be allowed access nobody's being allowed to meet with him this is a man that has a family who has been shot who is probably in very bad condition who is old who's frail we don't know where he is, and uh, these heavy-handed tactics are against the universal declaration of human rights by the United Nations. And if Saudi Arabia wants to be a member of the United Nations, it must abide by that Just declaration. Just to wrap up here, uh, the police came, the Saudis, they, even with very few of us here, most of us even hadn't gotten here, they were on the way, we had to tell them to turn back, because the Saudis were so disturbed by some kids, some 8-year-olds, some 12-year-olds standing here. Finally, the police asked us to move. They took the petition from us. Our deal was give them the petition, have it received. The petition was signed by 329 people. And hopefully, inshallah, next week more people will sign. And I'll be back here next Friday, once again reporting to you from the Saudi embassy and handing them another petition unless we hear about the release of Sheikh Nimr.